In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to use the new RSA Secure ID Soft Tokens within the Ginny May business applications. The new Soft Tokens will be used to perform the same functions that RSA Hard Tokens were previously used for. However, the entry of the PIN and passcode does look a little bit different with the Soft Tokens, so we wanted to walk through how this is completed today. We will be using a, an example of the IPMS Secure ID token validation application using a desktop version of the soft token. However, the soft tokens will be used the same ways across all of the applications. And we will also publish a quick reference card that shows each of the screens for users who have selected to install their token on their mobile device. So once you've logged into MyGinnyMay, you will navigate to the applications the same way that you do today. And once you get to the application that prompts you for your token entry, you will see a new description here that says RSA Secure ID Passcode. To get this passcode, you will open up your soft token that you've either installed on your desktop or your mobile device, and it will prompt you to enter your PIN. So here you will enter your six digit PIN that you captured on the initial setup and installation of your token. And once you enter your PIN, it will display the passcode. You can see here at the bottom, there is a countdown. So if it is close to expiring, you'll wanna wait until a new passcode refreshes, and then you can copy that pin and enter it into the application. If you're using your mobile device, you'll wanna pull up your phone or other device that you have it installed on and enter the eight digit passcode that you see there into the application. Once entered, you'll click validate or confirm or submit depending on the application that you're using. And the expected response should be a successful message or in this instance here, we see the successful response code zero. If you receive any errors or error messages, you'll wanna go back to your token and make sure that you entered your pin correctly because if you did not enter the right pin, the passcode that's generated will not work with the applications. So you'll want to hit, click re-enter PIN to try again. If you have any questions on using the new soft tokens or run into any issues, please reach out to May at hud.gov and our support team will help you address any concerns that you have. Thank you.